Gwendolyn Weldon comes to Prospect Park to practice Falun Gong at least once a week. She started seven years ago when she and her sister were walking through the park and were handed a flyer about the practice. Falun Gong to me is a way of life. It is a cultivation practice of mind and body and what it does is that it helps us to reach higher levels of wisdom and understanding. This way of life is so popular that Falun Gong estimates its membership at over 100 million in over 80 countries. Falun Gong spokesperson Scott Chin was introduced to Falun Gong by a co-worker six years ago. Falun Gong is, um, consists of both exercises and meditation. Um, the exercises are slow moving, uh, similar to Tai Chi and yoga. There's meditation as well as a philosophy of, uh, based on truthfulness, compassion and tolerance. Falun Gong uh, originated in China and it's based on traditional Chinese uh, culture. After 10,000 Falun Gong members surrounded the Chinese government's headquarters seven years ago requesting official recognition, the government declared Falun Gong illegal and allegedly started persecuting practitioners. NYU East Asian Studies professor Rebecca Carl believes the government panicked. So having 10,000 people materialize outside of the leadership compound on a particular day when there had been no inkling or suspicion that such an organized gathering would take place frightened the living daylights out of the central government. According to Falun Gong, as well as independent investigators from the Canadian government, the Chinese government has been torturing, killing, and even harvesting organs from Falun Gong members. There's a huge number of somewhere between 200,000 and a million Falun Gong practitioners that are still detained. There's three witnesses in different cases who said that they're basically killing them, taking their organs, and then selling them as transplants. Falun Gong practitioners engage in massive campaigns to raise awareness about the alleged persecutions. In parks across the country, they pass out pamphlets, newspapers, and DVDs such as these to people passing by. There are people like Professor Carl that believe the government is no longer cracking down on Falun Gong members. Carl sees Falun Gong using organ harvesting as a scare tactic. Whether they go after Falun Gong organs in particular seems to me positively crazy as an allegation. I sense that the charges of a continuing crackdown uh, by its practitioners abroad is a crass political move. No matter what people say, however, Gwen Weldon holds strong to her belief in the universal appeal of Falun Gong. I would like the whole world to be a part of Falun Gong because it's something so great. And though many practitioners are Chinese, when approached, they all decline to comment on camera for fear of possible repercussions. For NYU Tonight, this is Johnny Abreu.